this video let us try to learn about the for loop in JavaScript. Before we proceed further let us try to understand what is loop. Loop is basically used to execute a block of a statement a specified number of time or till the specified condition is true. So for example if you have to execute a block of a, spe of a statement five times then you can use the loop here. So first let us try to understand the for loop. Here what we have is that we have basically a button called click me. On a click of the button we are calling test function and in the test function that is written here in JavaScript we are first writing a variable called i and we are specifying its value as 6. And then what we are doing is that we are writing the loop. So in the loop there are three parts. First is the value initializer. The, here I have i equal to 0 and the second part is the condition. I am writing i less than 6 and the third part is basically the increment or decrement operator. <coughs> so what it does is that for every iteration of the loop it will increase the value of i to 1. So first time it will be 0, the second time it will become 1, the third time it will become 2 and so on. And this block of a statement will execute till the i value is less than 6. As soon as the value of i will be equal to 6, this uh, for loop will break and it will and we will exit from this code and the following statement if any will execute. So let me go ahead and run this piece. I am clicking on the button. See the first time it is 0 is it is coming to the first iteration when I will click OK then alert will go off and then it will execute the second uh, iteration so i++ plus plus is nothing but the 1 so 0 and then i++ plus plus is becoming 1 and then 2 and then 3 and then 4 and then 5 and then as soon as it will become 6 this condition will be false i less than 6 will be false and it will break so it is breaking and it is coming out of the loop so this was the for loop. Now the second loop is while loop. The while loop loop is basically used to execute a block of a statement till a specified condition is met. So let me show uh, this example. So while loop is here. Now in this case also <coughs> what we have is that we have again a similar button called click me. On a click of me button we are calling the test function and in this function we have de uh, declared a variable called i whose value is 0 and then here we are checking while i is less than 6 so here as in the for loop there is no condition there is no increment in the loop statement itself in the loop statement we have just the conditional if i is less than 6 then go ahead and execute the block of a statement so here while i is less less than 6 I am giving alert and then I am incrementing the value of i. If you will forget to increment the value of i here then what will happen is that this loop will be an indefinite loop it will keep executing. So in order to break this uh, loop we will have to uh, somehow specify the variable or the value that you are checking into the while loop to make sure that at a certain stage this uh, uh, statement will be false. So I am just keep uh, increment to i so that after the fifth iterations this will not be less than 6 and this while loop will break. So let me show this in the browser. So here is my page and I clicked it here. First is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then gone. If I will make it here for example, let us make it i equal to true then what will happen is just starting from 2 and then it will go till 5 so 2 3 4 5 and then it is breaking so after 5 this condition is false so it is breaking the while loop and it is coming out of the loop so that was the while loop the other one is do while loop okay now there might be uh, a question that is arising in your mind that what is the difference between the while loop and the do while loop that's a very good question actually and uh, 
it's very important to understand that so first let me explain the do while loop and then perhaps the we will get the answer uh, immediately so here we have a button and on click of the button we are calling the test function in the test function first we have decl uh, declared a variable called i and we have specified 0 and then what we are doing we are first writing do and then the block of a statement so do and then alert and then i plus plus must increment it and then at the last we are checking while i is less than 5 it means that even if i is less than 5 or i is greater than 5 at least one time this loop will execute the block of a statement of the loop will execute and after that the checking is being done so the difference between the do while and the while loop is that a while loop may or may not execute at least one time but a do while loop will at least execute one time so let me first run this page and then uh, we will come back to this code again so I'm clicking this 0 1 2 3 4 and then it is I less than 5 only so it is done now let us keep it I equal to 6 here now I value is not less than 5 despite that it will this loop will execute at, execute at least once say here it is executing at least once and then this condition is false so it is not going up and it, it is not executing the block of code again but in case of a while loop if we will specify here i is equal to 6 then it will not even run one time see it is not even running one time we are not ge getting the alert even one time so that's what the difference between the while loop and the do while loop is a while loop may or may not execute even one time and do while loop will at least execute one time and then it may may or not may not execute another time now how to break a loop in javascript now till now we saw that how to how to create loop and what are the different uh, types of loops now let us try to learn that how to break the loop so for that we have another page called break.stm and here what we have done is that on click of this button we are calling the test function and the test function we have a variable called i and i value is a 0 and then inside the do while loop what we are doing is that we are checking for the condition if i is equal to equal to 2 then break the loop so in this case what will happen when I will run this page let me run this page and click so first time it is 0 i is 0 so it will not come into this if block if now i is 1 so as soon as i became 1 so it is giving me a alert is i the next statement is i plus plus so i is becoming 2 now it is going up and again it is coming and then here is it checking i is equal to equal to 2 then break it it means that it will simply exit, uh, exit from the loop so the following statement and the following iterations of the loop will not execute so here what is happening is that as soon as i is becoming true 2 the loop is breaking and we are exiting exiting from the loop see the second time we are exiting from the loop so that is why what the use of break is break is basically used to break the loop completely in the middle itself now let us learn about the continuous statement in case we have to skip a current iteration of the loop then what we do is that we use the continuous statement so let me go ahead and show that and for that we have an, another page called continue now here what we are doing is that we have a button and on click of the button we are calling the test function as usual and then we have a i variable and its value is first 0 and then what we are doing is that we are writing do while loop and then first in the do while loop we are, in, we are incrementing to one uh, i so first time it will be 1 and the second time 2 and so on and then we are checking for the i, I uh, value if i is equal to equal to 2 then continue so what will happen is that once this iteration will run for the two times 
then what will happen is that i will be two and that particular iteration will skip and then it will go ahead with the next iteration so that third and then fourth and so on so let me go ahead and run this page click me so one first time it is one because here we are just incrementing before giving the alert itself so that's why zero is not coming directly one is coming and then second is not coming why because when i will be two then it is continue so what is happening is as soon as continue will come this particular iteration will be skipped so the following line of code will skip and it will go to the next iteration so that is why i plus plus is uh, executing and the directly from one it is coming three and then four and then five and then that's it so this is the use of continue where we we are skipping the that particular iteration of the loop